My name is Chris Caravelli, uh, Operations and Project Manager for Cardinal Construction and Management. Cardinal and myself uh, got involved with the construction of this audio production room uh, through Paula Valley. We did a, uh, a build out probably seven years ago um, here at AIM in the front lobby and in the main portion of the building. Um, and then uh, coming back seven years later to do the production room, we've had a great um, relationship with Paul, who's the executive director here. Um, and uh, he came to us with an idea about two years ago uh, of doing this room and through the design process and building process now we're here today. This room I call the remote control room. Um, this rack here has some equipment that connects into the recording studio as well as there's a rack on the other end of the building. Um, this desk was custom made by Cardinal. Uh, Jeremy Turner made it. It's got a nice awkward corner that was fun to cut for him. Um, basically, if, if you have a session, uh, somebody uh, maybe videoing or uh, recording some music, you could control the sound room with the equipment that's here. It's all connected. So it's sort of a, an auxiliary space. Um, if you needed to have a lot of people in that room, you could have a tech come in here and utilize this space because there's a camera in the other room so they can see what's going on here in front of these monitors and uh, relay with the mic back into the room. Well, I think what we tried to do for the exterior of this room is to keep something um, in line with what was done at the front of the space. Uh, the architects, Paola Lugli and Paola Amadeo, did a really great job on the interior of the room, which I think is really the showpiece here. Um, you know, matching uh, what's in the hallway now and kind of when you walk through the corridor uh, to come back to this room, you don't feel like you're necessarily walking into uh, a completely new space uh, as far as it matching, um, you know, the rest of the building. Uh, but I think inside is really where you notice the difference. All of the red paint here that we see on this wall and around the whole uh, audio room sort of signifies this as a separate space. And the, the walls don't actually connect. So there's a gap here in between uh, this stud and this wall that separates for sound purposes. Uh, the, all of the ceiling tiles and whatnot have a uh, half inch thick gasket. Uh, in between what touches the walls of this room and the rest of the ceiling and the walls and uh, the floor actually sits on a half inch piece of neoprene which is uh, shot with uh, nails into the concrete. Uh, if we come down here you can see the gasket of the door. There's actually a gasket on the side of the door. This is acoustic caulking. Um, all the way around it. And then all of the, the glass in this door has seals on each side. Uh, this is acoustic pane glass. Um, the door, this door is eight inches thick. This wall is eight inches thick. So there's eight inches of solid insulation in between here that gives you the sound attenuation that you need inside, outside the room. So if you notice the noise that we hear right now from the rack that's in the front of the building, if you come inside and we close the door, you can't hear it. That's pretty cool. From, from the start, uh, before we start building, uh, we have to go through a uh, approval process through the county for the use of space in a, in a commercial building. So we went through and that took about three or four months to really get through the county and to have our space exactly how you see it today. Um, once that's done, the permitting process, then I usually will take the plans and do what I call and people in the construction industry call nuts and bolts takeoff. So you do take off of every piece of material that goes into the room. The, uh, the metal studs, the door for the room, which was about a two month lead time to get the door. 
Uh, it's a very specific uh, sound transfer control, uh, sound transmission control door. Um, it's very expensive as well. Um, some of the other materials, the lights, uh, the wood panels, uh, those things I order, uh, coordinate with the uh, HVAC subs uh, to get the, the uh, air conditioning, uh, heating and cooling within the room. Uh, so from really start to finish, um, every step of the way, I'm sort of leading each sub and, and each member of our team. Um, and Cardinal self-performed most of what's in this room other than the HVAC work. Uh, so leading my guys through putting together the room, um, co actually constructing it, you know, through the drywall, the paint, uh, all the finishes that you see. Uh, some of the furniture that's in the room is all custom made. That was designed by uh, the architects, uh, which they did a great job on. Um, some of it we actually had to uh, hold off on installing the door uh, for a couple of weeks so that we could get the desk in because it's so large. This desk, as you can see, has a lot of stuff in it. Uh, the desk itself is 11 feet wide. Uh, the door to the room is about four feet two inches from edge to edge. So from the door all the way out to the glass, the whole frame. Uh, we had to hold off on putting that in to actually fit this section of the desk. We call it the boomerang. Uh, this top piece is connected and it took, I think, two people uh, to get it in, three people to get it in here uh, and set it. Uh, luckily, the middle section and the side sections come together in different pieces, uh, so that wasn't quite as difficult. Um, the desk is very, is very special, uh, I think especially to Paola Amadeo. She designed the desk and uh, Ezio uh, Mattiasi uh, had a contact in Italy who produced the desk. So they took our design, their design, and made it reality, which is, uh, which is pretty special. Gosh, this room, um, I said it earlier, I think two years from start to finish from the, from the idea um, to the finished product uh, that we see today. Uh, the building took about eight months. We had a few delays um, in some of the specialized equipment, uh, some of the HVAC equipment, um, some of the panels that you see in the room, um, the wood diffusers that are behind me took a long time to produce. There's 3,500 individual pieces of, uh, of wood, uh, one by one wood diffusers that um, diffuse the sound in the back of the room and we have sort of the dead portion of the room is at the front. Um, so it's very multi-purpose. Diffusers are probably my favorite part of the room. Uh, the design is from uh, Palace Square International. Uh, they did a great job at making this very uh, modern and uh, sort of flowing. Uh, there's a band in here that Jim Block uh, had requested that we put to have the proper diffusion of sound in the back of the room. So you can kind of see the main portion throughout here. Uh, so when people are sitting at this table, say giving an interview like we are, or if somebody was in here with say a microphone and a guitar, uh, you would have a nice uh, sound diffusion throughout the uh, recording process. Uh, these pieces of wood, they're one inch by one inch, and there's 3,500 of them glued onto a plywood backer. And this took probably three weeks to cut and uh, put on the backers and install them. Uh, to give you an a, a idea of how much wood is really in here, with all of the saw cuts, there's an eighth of an inch blade, right, for a saw cut. So there's 38 linear feet of waste just in sawdust and saw cuts that went into uh, producing this item right here. So that's, that's definitely my favorite part of the room. Oh, very proud. Um, really the, you know, I coordinated a lot of the, the efforts of everybody and made sure that the quality 
uh, is up to up to par, um, and bring you know bringing the team together, the right people to construct the the wall panels, the diffusers, the um, the ceiling panels that are in the room, uh, installing the lights, all of that. So uh, for me, it's rewarding to bring every, every all of those pieces together, the right people to actually make it look the way it does, um, and just immensely proud of the work that. Um, that our team did um, to put it together. It's really, it's a really neat room. I've never seen a, a production room look like this.